Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, ich darf Sie alle recht herzlich hier begrüßen vor dem Pavillon des äh, Parlaments. Ich freue mich ganz besonders, zuerst über den Besuch aus äh, Israel, ein Vertreter der Knesset, äh, der Regierungspartei Likud, Jehuda Klik, herzlich willkommen in Wien, und natürlich die Außenministerin Daniel Kreisel. Ich freue mich ganz besonders, dass heute auf dem Boden des Parlaments, im Freitag im Parlamentsclub, ein sehr gutes Gespräch stattgefunden hat. Und es ist immer, glaube ich, im Sinne eines Parlaments, einer, einer parlamentarischen Demokratie, dass sich auch Völker untereinander verständigen, dass äh, Parlamente verschiedener Länder näher rücken und dass Standpunkte ausgetauscht werden. Das werden wir auch weiterhin so halten. Deswegen freue ich mich auf weitere Gespräche in naher Zukunft. Ich habe das Wort übergeben an unsere Außenminister. Ja, vielen Dank. Ich darf mich auch bei Ihnen für das Interesse und diesem Treffen bedanken. Herr äh, Abgeordneter Klick äh, und äh, wir als Delegation, wir hatten auch äh, Mitarbeiter aus dem Außenministerium hier, haben uns über verschiedenste Aspekte der aktuellen Lage im Nahen Osten und in Israel ganz besonders unterhalten. Ähm, es verbindet mich persönlich viel mit dem Staat Israel. Ähm, er, ich habe eben unter anderem auch in Israel studiert. Äh, wir haben über äh, alte Territorialfragen und so weiter diskutiert, sind in die Inhalte hineingegangen. Und äh, er will es vielleicht selber nachher noch sagen, aber er hat einen Satz, äh, der vielleicht unser, Sprechen, unser Gespräch auf den Punkt bringt. Er sagt, er ist mit der österreichischen Botschaft im wunderbaren Kontakt. Er ist zu Gast eben, äh, bei unserem Botschafter. Unser Botschafter kann äh, den Premierminister treffen, der ja auch Außenminister ist, aber sozusagen sein Boss kann derzeit nicht den Premierminister treffen. Und das bringt vielleicht dieses Kuriose, das Kuriose, mit dem wir uns gegenwärtig befinden, auf den Punkt, ich selbst glaube an die Notwendigkeit, Sinnhaftigkeit von bilateralen Treffen, wie das unsere Gegend. Es ist ein einander kennenlernen und ich darf mich bedanken für den Aufwand, den Sie, Herr Abgeordneter, mit auf sich genommen haben, dieser kleinen Europatour, die Sie gerade unternehmen, dass Sie eben auch in Österreich sich aufhalten und wie diese Gespräche führen. Uh, I don't understand what she said, but I probably agree with her, everything. I will just begin first that I was very moved by the warm welcome that I was received by Dr. Knesel, the Foreign Minister, uh, who first personally expressed her condolences uh, on the loss of my wife uh, six weeks ago, and it was very moving for me that she took the effort to really express 
Dear condolences, we had a very interesting conversation. Uh, we share concern about Israel, we share concern about the Middle East, and we share common prayers and hopes that diplomatic activity can bring peace to the Middle East. I came to Mrs. Kneisel, I'm very happy that she opened the doors, welcoming me so, so much, uh, because there's a very, I would say, absurd situation where the ambassador of, of uh, Austria in Israel, who is very much popular and very welcomed and very respected for his professional activity as an ambassador, Mr. Martin Weiss, he comes and meets with all of our the ministers and all of our and the ministry of uh, of, uh, uh, of foreign affairs for sure, and he's a guest at uh, the Knesset, and he invites people to his house, and he can meet with everybody, but his boss is uh, 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 and boycotted, banned. In general, I'm against boycotting at all. Usually, boycotting it never brings any uh, benefit. Benefit is from talking and listening, even if you don't agree. I think that uh, we have to do every effort we can to show that many of the uh, opinions about Mrs. Chrysler herself, but about the, the Freedom Party, are prejudiced, and that I see that Mrs. Chrysler is a true friend of Israel, and she really wants to, 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 to be a, a major partner in uh, the, solving the, the, the Israeli-Palestinian uh, conflict. I brought the, to her attention the importance for us as a sovereign state, to be able to, as she said, be, of course, the recognition of, of, of Austria, Austria and the entire European Union on the security needs of Israel, but I spoke to her also about the recognition of Jerusalem as our capital, without getting into where this will lead, what will be the final solution between the Palestinian-Israeli conflict, two state, one state, three state, seven state, uh, one bit. That, that, that's not the issue right now. We shared our different opinions, but I said that recognizing Jerusalem as our capital is something very basic. Mrs. Kneisel uh, said she's relatively new in the uh, European Union and she's doing everything she can to talk and to listen, and she believes in bilateral diplomacy, and she will uh, go along and try to see how we can work again together. I will do every effort I can, and I promised that I will do the every effort I can to try to convince the Israeli Foreign Ministry of the importance of strengthening the relationship with uh, all the parties in Austria and of course with the Foreign Ministry, with the Councillor who is in former relationship with Israel and the Vice Councillor. And I also uh, would be very happy if all of this can continue. I want to thank once again uh, Mrs. Kneisel, I want to thank my friend, Parliament Member uh, Mr. Lazar and all the people who accompanied us and I think uh, we, ha we have to leave an open channel to see how we can solve these issues and go ahead for the sake, for the benefit of both of our countries and nations. I am a guest here. I am a guest. Okay. Thank you very much. Mr. Knut, may I ask a question? Yes. Please. If it's okay with the... I will be happy to answer questions. Thank you. Like one question I have is make sure I get my quote, I get my quote there. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Glick, you have said that your visit here to Austria is approved by the government of Israel. That is what I have read today. So, the media have asked who has approved your visit? Is Netanyahu on your side? Is this an official visit? I am not here as a representative, not of Netanyahu, not of the government, and not of the foreign ministry. I was not appointed to be, a, I'm not a job. I don't work in the ministries. I, I am here trying to bring and uh, to, to, to try to, uh, as I said, to try to overcome the obstacles in the relationship between the countries. That's what I'm here for. And I'm not, I was not officially appointed by anybody to come. Is it a present you received? This present? is a present that I received from a foreign minister at the <coughs> Parliament House, uh, the Austrian Parliament House, the old, new, 
which they hope will be ready in five years from now. Prime Minister uh, and uh, uh, these are yes other questions did I meet Mr. Strache yes I just came from Mr. Strache I sat with him in the office for over an hour uh, we had a very constructive uh, meeting I said to him I am a member of the Jewish people who on the one hand six million of our people were slaughtered burned killed on the land of the European continent. And I'm also a member of the people of Israel who have proudly developed a modern, glorious country. And we are proud of our country. And on the one hand, we have an obligation to make sure that nobody erases the past. We, cannot, we don't have the authority to forgive, to forget. And I, I told Mr. Mr. Strache, and he agreed, that he has to put every emphasis in making sure the people of Austria don't forget and not the past, not the anti-Semitism that was, and to make sure no signals of anti-Semitism comes up, not uh, Holocaust denial, not uh, neo-Nazism, not uh, racism, no hate should be coming from here, and not anti-Israel activity, not BDS activity, not delegitimizing Israel, and all of these things is an, are, 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 are uh, options that can bring us together. And I said that I was representing, I met with the Jewish community yesterday, many people from the Jewish community yesterday, who were trying to convince me not to meet with Mr. Strache today and not to meet with Mr. Knesset. And they were bothered because of the past of the Freedom Party, and they felt that maybe some factors of the past are still around. And I asked him, and he, we, he promised me, that we will have a channel, direct channel, mainly through my friend Mr. Lazar and others, we have a direct channel to his office, that if we are aware of any issues such as anti-Semitic or racism, Islamophobia, xenophobia, in the Freedom Party, I will bring it to his attention, whether it's in, in the Borsha Hafin or it's in in, in a re re relationship with, with various newspapers, anything, any issue, any complaint, anything to do with any kind of hate that appears in his party, I will bring to his attention and he promised he will take care of that immediately. I also want to thank Mr. Strache for his personal opinions about Jerusalem. He's expressed it in the past. He said he would like to move the embassy to Jerusalem. That's, that's his personal opinion, but he's now part of a government and he is obliged to the opinion of the government. He will do everything he can to try to convince the Austrian government and the, the, the European Union, Union to understand the importance of recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital. And this is something he, of course, supports. But right now, he is being criticized, maybe by some of your friends, uh, for, 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 for acknowledging the very basic fact that, Israel is, uh, that Jerusalem is our capital. He will do whatever he can, but right now he can't act on his own, being disconnected from uh, the entire government. But we can also criticize from their own government, some politicians from their parliament have called him a Nazi leader from the right-wing movement. This doesn't seem to be your opinion, so what would you tell your friends in Israel? I strongly condemn anybody who refers to Mr. Strache as a Nazi or any kind of Nazi uh, activity, vice versa. Mr. Strache is a true friend of Israel. I uh, also re brought with me representatives of the official television of Israel from the Channel One, who, I, who Mr. Strache specifically spoke to them and said, if anybody from our party, from the Freedom Party, from his party, anybody from his party that will be involved in any kind of racism, totalism, hatred, anti-Semitism, neo-Nazism, he said it will be immediately expelled from the party. Mr. Velimsky told me the same thing yesterday when I met with him in his office, and, and Mr. Strache said that specifically to the Israeli press today. I hope this message will, will, will go about. I, as I said again, the, the opinion of the Jewish community here in Austria has a lot of impression on Israel, and, and, the, and, and, and the activities that he will be doing here will be followed by the Jewish community, and uh, I hope we will be able to, to convince uh, the, the Jewish community of, of Austria and the Israeli government to accept Mr. Strasser. But I want to make one thing very clear. As I said, I'm not a representative 
here today of the Prime Minister or of the Israeli government. But at the same time, I'm not here to support any party. If anybody thinks that I'm here to, to support the Freedom Party or to the, the Social the Democratic Party or the, uh, or the uh, uh, Blue Party, the, the People's Party, uh, the Green Party, I am not involved in Austrian politics. I think it's important that Israel has good relationships with all parties. And I'm, I'm not a representative of the government, and I'm also not here to promote any party. I think uh, that should be very clear because people have written about me that I'm, I am a, a member of the party or I am promoting voting the party. The people of, that, of uh, Austria are a democracy and they have a right to vote any party. And I think all parties should be in, in contact with Israel and all parties should make sure there are no anti-Semites or neo-Nazis in their party because the, the existence of neo-Nazi factors are probably existence in many different parties. I don't want to come out of blame. I'm not here to blame anybody. I'm here to try to be positive, to give, to give positive energy and to do whatever I can to try to upgrade the relationships for the sake of both countries and both nations. Mr. Click, last question. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much for your statement. I, I see what your point is, but for example, the question, you know the name Udo Landbauer, you name you, you know the affair of this singing book, yes? We will make the seventh million old Germans. And you know that it took very, very long time till this Udo Landbauer, yeah? the candidate of a party, we know, till he stepped down. And Strache never said something in the press. He tells you everything, Mr. Click. He tells you that he will act. But at the end, I have heard no statement from Mr. Strache who condemned Landbauer. That is some sort of dystopy. I am not a spokesman for Mr. Strache. I, uh, I'm aware of the story that you're talking about. It was brought up in our conversation also. Uh, I know that there's an investigation on the story right now. I know that any kind of anti-Semitism is illegal in Austria. I'm happy that this gentleman is not a candidate anymore. I hope uh, if he will be blamed that he did know in the event originally about, what, about the book I hope if it will be proven that he is guilty, he will be not part, not be part of the of the of the Freedom Party, and uh, that's what I expect from Mr. Strache. But once again, I am not here as a spokesman for Mr. Strache. I'm here trying to do it every effort to connect uh, the uh, the uh, Jewish community and the people and the people of Israel and the state of Israel with the, with all the parties. And I think that these kind of uh, uh, scandals and these kind of issues. Which, which sometimes happen in, in, in many different sides, are, are, are something that, especially the Freedom Party, has an obligation to show that they are separating themselves from any kind of issue like this. And this was the worry I brought in the name of the, of, of the people, and I told Mr. Strache, it's a constant, constant uh, mission. It's not a one-day mission. It's a constant mission, and therefore we wanted the open channel uh, to that, that were anything that comes up immediately thank you. I want to thank you all thank very you much. All. Thank you, Mr. Glick. Thank you very much.